great to have you join us on the program. I'm Melinda Kinlami. In this awesome month of June, we have a lot of wonderful things lined up for you. Like an art auction by Art House Contemporary in Lagos. To another group exhibition, but this time by female artists who paint issues dear to their heart. That passion for life is also penned down by our wordsmith for this week. Our wordsmith for this week is The Elements by Ire. The Sun, too, is a good friend. Pamphlets of the dawn resurrection funeral. To worry the nights to dusk, as it begged the dark to stay executions of actions by mouth of a wayward leg pronounced. Not mouth, the slothful fellow that befriended delicacies. Faithful friend that set redemption stools of slaughtering on edges of thorns. Not piercing the body, but rendering peaceful hearts apart to unite. And the moon, too, was a good traveler in static station, catching cruises of aspersion on the innocent night that lightens another light of darkness, tusked into another earth and the other side of existence. And the stars too will not be to me the measure of stardom or the good rating of an artist's mastery of art. For art is a mystery, sordid in every heart, as it begs for revelations of concealment. And if your intuition craves its revelations, you look backward into it to look forward. Thank you, Ray, for reminding us about the beauty of nature. We appreciate that. Now to our first feature. Ten female artists paint their heart out in this group exhibition called Havim at the Kakaki Gallery in Lagos. Hervim is an art exhibition at Kakaki Gallery in Lagos, which captures the voice of the African female artist, her wins, her struggles, and her expectations. Vim means great enthusiasm, passion. Why the heart signifies the gender involved. So Kakaki Gallery is exhibiting 10 beautiful, passionate female artists in the creative industry. We are open to create a market space for professionals and even imaginat uh, female artists because um, it's really difficult and it's hard for imagined female artists to have a stand in the creative space. So we believe so much that with Kakahi Gallery, this talent could be haunted and give it the opportunity to be seen. Ten artists use these images to tell stories regarding their gender as they push to be the change they want to see. My work focuses on the significance of a woman, um, a woman's strengths, um, a woman's abilities. So I actually depicted a woman in the form of a tree because a woman is 
let me say, is likened to nature. Nature is the giver, is the producer of fruits, same way as a woman is the bearer of children. So I was trying to depict woman in her significance, how we should, in, let me say in her light, how we should see a woman. Because there's this normal feeling of um, maybe women not being of um, what or not having any purpose. So I wanted to show the purpose of a woman as in a tree who is the person who produces, who gives the children. Then she's also the nurturer, just like nature. Then I also used um, some animals, if you see my work, you see some animals in the background. Because I used the woman also to show the human form, which is higher than those of animals. Even though most of the artists are female, there's a man in the mix, giving them support. In this part of the world, I feel, and it's very apparent that there is no, there's not enough gender equality. We do not really um, value women as we should. We underpower them, we, we override them, we don't feel the balance. And I want to use my artwork to communicate with people. Women are as well, very equally leveled as men. And it should be ended in this, in fact, in this, in this current generation, I like that it's been voiced out and I'm trying to be part of this um, propagation of movement that women can as well be in same power, have the same pay, have everything equal to men. It's really be challenging for female to be leaders in their workplaces and even in the society. Precisely in the creative industry, it has really been challenging for female to get a marketplace. And that is where Kakagi Gallery is established, to create a market space to encourage female artists in the field. Most of the titles of the over 30 works of art displayed reflects the issues they are passionate about. My black stand for strength, while the white stand for life. So in this life, when there is life, there is hope. And that's why I always tell my female counterpart that don't lose hope. We are getting there. Whatever we put into her mind, because women have passion, and wherever we find our passion through, we always break through. That is why women always succeed in whatever they do because they put their heart to it. So I want my art to go all over in every offices, in every home, in every organization, let there be an art because it is a therapy and it's beautified. So art is something that I, tell, I feel we should embrace more. My work here is titled Black and Bold. So it shows the, the, the strengths of women, of African women. Because everybody in the world classifies us as black, even though we're brown. So and our, our, our beauty radiates um, through uh, um, the way we carry ourselves and the strengths we have as an African woman. So which is what I'm trying to explain in the work. If you look at the work, there are several colors in it. We have the orange, which shows our glowing, uh, we have the green, which is um, the, the, the pride we have in ourselves and the um, uh, brighter future we, we hope to see. Presenting women has always been my interest. I always wanted to show like what a woman should be like, how she should be. Because I mean, 
the way things are in the world, we see we um, we mix the role of a woman and a man, and women now try to behave, act like men to be significant. But you don't need to actually be a man to be significant. A woman has her own different role, her own different strengths. And that's what I wanted to depict. If you look at it, we have beautiful works and mostly you see they are mainly female themed because we're talking about the female stories, our struggles, our passion, that um, other female out there facing one challenge or the other could look through these beautiful works and find the courage to move on and never give up. This exhibition hopes to inspire other young female creatives to keep doing what they do best. Even when no one applauds their efforts, self-fulfillment is always rewarding. Lovely images there and it goes beyond art for art's sake. The message is also queen. And these are the works of art you sent this time around. Let's begin with Akintayo Damilola's digital painting called Blissful Smile. Then another piece called Joyful Leap is done with oil on canvas by Iriga Opako. Fashion is the title is done by Kevet Fred on Mixed Media. Then Emmanuel Ate has this oil on canvas piece called Black Beauty. Light or Inner is an acrylic on canvas work done by Francis Zazinanu. Then Homework is an oil on canvas piece done by Shola Ogumbi. Our culture, our heritage is created by Uye Sam Angel with pen on pelican paper. Samuel Eto has this pen and ink on paperwork called Patterns of Samuel Eto. Then Joy Idigo has this acrylic on canvas piece called Kanini. Finally, Will to Shine 2021 is an oil on canvas work done by Adi Tolu. And those are the works of art you sent in this week. We appreciate you for sending them in and encourage you to keep them coming. Let's take a moment now when Art House returns, we'll enjoy an art auction in Lagos. Join us again. The Oshogwo Art School came into existence for the threshold of modernity. The 26th edition of the Modern and Contemporary Art Auction by Art House Contemporary had about 72 lots up for sale done by veteran and contemporary Nigerian artists. The highlight took place at the Co Gallery in Lagos. The lots were put online prior to this time for prospective bidders to take their time to study the images before making their choice. It 
climaxes at Co Gallery Lagos as Art House Contemporary presents its 26th edition of Modern and Contemporary Art Auction. We used to have live auctions and until last year we had live auctions. We've had about 23 auctions, you know, two or three a year. And last year in March we had to cancel our... Um, no, we didn't cancel actually, we had it. And then of course everybody went into lockdown. And so the last two auctions we've done have been online. And uh, it has affected because people haven't really been able to view the art. So this way we're doing highlights over here so that people can actually come and view. And we're really pleased with the amount of people that have come today and generated interest in the works that we're selling. We really miss the physicality of being in person, everyone seeing the artworks getting together. At the same time, we've, you know, going online has enabled us to broaden our audience to a more international audience that's, you know, looking on the computer and looking online. So that's been good. Uh, but I say overall, it's very exciting for us to having uh, an event again and being back in person. And I think everyone is has missed this, and we're all happy to be back. Works of art done by over 70 brilliant Nigerian artists are up for auction from the old hands, whose pieces are now national treasures to other artists who've distinguished themselves. It's a secondary market, so we have a lot of applications that come in where people want to sell their art, and then we choose what we're going to sell, we curate it, and, and then we put up a show. Some of these pieces are rarities, such as Ben Ewanwu's The Leaf, Jim O'Brien's First Love, David Dale's Boat Resting, amongst others. Well, the art that we have is a mixture of artists. So we have Jim Okolo, we have Ben Asagai, Ben Nwanwu, the most famous artist alive in Nigeria. We have Ben Asawe, um, Duke Asidri, which is right behind me. So really all the top artists. So we have a, a, a mix of many artists actually today. And that's what we're going to be selling at the auction.
Oh, it's a beautiful collection. Um, you can tell from you know what is being shown today, um, the rich heritage you know from here in Africa, especially here in Nigeria. Um, artists are custodians of uh, the history of um, the people, and you can tell the rich heritage of its country from the works that you're seeing here today. So I've been able to gather that from you know this private viewing. Then there are the charity lots. Proceeds from that go to the Artas Foundation, a non-profit artist residency program, which has organized over 30 art residencies to develop a new artistic project that engages the city of Lagos. There's more beauty to experience, but that will be when you tune in next time. Coming up on the next edition of the program. We show you Broken Colors, a solo art exhibition by Richard Ezege at the National Museum in Lagos. About a year ago, so, um, I started running a series on it. So I have different figures, different title, style, but the same technique. We see that and more the next time you tune in. That's at house today. Remember, you can view this and any other episode on our YouTube page like and share it as well so that more people can experience the beauty of the arts. I'm Melinda Akinlami, encouraging you to stay safe and keep being creative.